Hi Connectables, today we're at the sound room where we're chilling with Questa at his video launch. I started a company called Rap Life, right, with Kid X and, 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 and the whole thing was to break the barrier because he, I was signed to a company before and he was signed to a company before and we always understood that there's always a big gap between artist and, and owner or founder of company, right, and, and things are done a little differently. Some people are more privileged than others, so we really wanted to break that, so that's why we dropped everything on the same day so that we all get the same platform um, and play on the same field and to pretty much level the playing fields because um, I've always felt that was a problem uh, between artist and company and, 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 and to kill that, then we do everything at the same time. We started off by dropping the songs um, online as one link where you could get four songs from Rap Life and today it's, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. We're going to drop the videos on the same platform as the same thing so that we also as Rap Life are out here because we're literally a unit. Takes to stay afloat, real talk. That's what it takes to raise a daughter, real talk. Now I'm um, there's a group called TLT. Um, they video, their song is called Nice Life Problems. Nice Life Problems, Nice Life Problems, Nice Life Problems, I don't wanna solve them. So it's pretty much um, that. The the video is just based on two guys that are from the hood um, and, and, and are like still in the hood, but now they're facing kind of different things. Like they're seeing new things, you know, from, from like courts of beer to like now, okay, we might have the option of champagne kind of thing, you know what I mean? So they, they, they just talking about their nice life problems, which is, it's, it's, it's a problem because it looks and is judged a certain way, but it's nice because it's, it's, it's very nice to indulge in kind of thing. So that's pretty much the video. So they are literally driving around and going around the hood, just, just spotting the nice life problems and things like that that happen around the hood. Fuzz with Pepper is the second single off my upcoming album called Thank the King. Uh, the concept came about, obviously we didn't try and stray too far away from the song, you know, the message of the song pretty much speaks about lost love, you know, where you've committed so much and obviously situations don't always go as planned, so you end up losing out and the girl ends up doing whatever the case and so we wanted to sort of package that in a way that would be very understandable to people, you know, so I mean... The concept was put together by the people on the song, funny enough, you know, we were just throwing up around a couple of ideas to see what would best tell the story. Yeah, and then we have my video, which is um, a song called Ngyaz uh, Fela yeah, featuring Tabsi. I pretty much did, I'm with my family in the video, I'm with um, my girlfriend and, and, and I'm with um, my, my, my four-year-old. So we're pretty much just covering the challenges between, between the work that I do and family time. You know, um, it, it, because it comes with its challenges. I mean, it's not it's not a very easy thing to do. Sometimes you're at a dinner table and you get a call and that yo, um, citizen wants to do an interview. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then and, and you have to commit and you have to be that guy. You know, because of of of, of what's important. But now I'm, the whole video is just playing on what is more important or what is not you know just just pretty much putting it out there and saying this is what we're facing as a couple but we 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 understand and know it and why well, as a family even we understand and we know it and we rise above it it wasn't planned that we both gonna leave our companies he left i think three years ago i left last year so i mean but the plan has always been just to be you know, young people who own their own property, you know. We come from two of the biggest groups in South African hip-hop history, you know, from Tear Gas and obviously Esquadra Camp. So I think it was important for us to also just extend that platform to other upcoming talent, people who aspire to, you know, be in the positions that we're in. It's really dope to be part of Red Heart because I actually, I actually do drink rum. It's so weird, <laughs> you know. Um, I actually do drink rum a little bit. Um, and and the type of brand that they are, you know what I mean? And they, they, the whole thing is living with heart. And I also feel like my entire life is just pretty much based on that, you know? Um, it's just based on trusting your, 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 your instincts and just going and just maybe tipping the scales a little bit and not doing everything as normally as you would, you know? So, um, and that's living with heart. That's trusting your own self and trusting everything. And if they're about that, and I, and I said I was about that, uh, it was it was very easy to sort of find common ground onto that. So I believe in their whole vision. They obviously kind of believe in mine. So, I mean, the working, I'm, I'm really ecstatic about the working relationship. 